Now here I am with data that I got from my lab quest and my motion sensor and I noticed that a lot of it looks not so great. I've got these weird flat things and this big dip here and a big flat plateau over here. Well none of this is useful. That was before I got any good data and then the, the, the peaks and the weird stuff, that's where I started uh, I moved my hands in front of it or what have you. So uh, we need to locate only the part of the graph that I care about. For me, that's this part right here. That's when I actually let the car go and let it roll. And when I let go and double click, it'll zoom in on just that part. And now if I want to fit a function to that, I can highlight again and single click inside. And then I can pick a linear fit, which this clearly is. When I click add, then I get a set of data here that's very useful. We see an M and a B in Y equals MX plus B. These other two are some things that we won't be worried about, so no sweat there. Uh, and then I would like to save this, so I click the download button, and I, oh wait, you know, before I do that, let's throw some titles on. I'm going to go down to the info button and click that. Add a title to my graph here, uh, which is speed, or uh, let's see, motion of a battery powered car in time and uh, I could add graph comments I don't really care to I like my top and my bottom here uh, so that's good and done and there I have uh, my uh, title and now I download save my image and I get a download that pops right up here and when I open it there it is. It looks so similar that you can't even tell that it's different, uh, but in my image viewer, uh, you see that I've got just a, a, an insertable graph that you can throw into, say, uh, a lab write-up. And that's how to work with Vernier Logger Pro.